Welcome back. Hurricane Michael continues to get better organized and is gaining more strength right now, spinning over the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It's these ocean waters are very warm. It's not interacting with land. So this really is the perfect setup for Hurricane Michael to continue to gain strength. And you can see the eye of the storm here showing up on our satellite and radar. So very well organized storm at this point, just shy of being a category three storm. Several warnings and advisories have been issued for portions of the Panhandle and the Big Bend area. We've got a hurricane warning for portions of the Panhandle and a tropical storm warning for areas just outside of that, meaning that these conditions are expected within 36 hours from now. We've got a tropical storm watch for portions of southeastern Georgia, meaning that it is possible that they could be getting tropical storm conditions within 48 hours and portions of central Georgia have already issued a flash flood watch ahead of Hurricane Michael, meaning that it could happen, especially after landfall is made. So right now winds at 110 miles per hour, 111 mile per hour would make it a category three storm. So just shy of that as we're heading throughout the afternoon right now. Moving north rather quickly at 12 miles per hour. It's going to continue this northward motion and is expected to be a strong category three storm prior to landfall somewhere near the Panama City area. Again, as a category three winds at 125 miles per hour. Uh, anything between 111 and 129. That would be a category three storm. It may actually gain or maintain its hurricane strength as a category one as it moves over inland as we're heading throughout Wednesday evening and into a Thursday. At this point, it stays to the south and to the east of us. Some good news there. Those models in agreement that we will be looking at the storm to stay to the south of our region. So although we are not in the cone of reference, yes, that is good news. That doesn't mean that we're in the clear. We still will have impacts here. After that, the storm is going to continue, continue its track across the Carolinas. So watching these areas very carefully as they're still dealing with Hurricane Florence aftermath. So a lot to watch. Not only do we have this hurricane, we also have a front. This front is actually going to help deflect Hurricane Michael away from our area. So some good news there. So as we're heading into Wednesday afternoon, here we are one o'clock, a couple of scattered showers as we're heading throughout the afternoon for your Wednesday. It's going to make landfall by Wednesday evening, probably late in the evening there somewhere near Panama City. Again, bringing us some more showers, some more moisture as we head throughout Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday overnight and into Thursday as well. The core of the storm should stay to the south and to the east of us, crossing over portions of Macon, Georgia as well. Watching that front again, it's going to deflect Michael away from our area, so we will be watching for for the showers to move out of the area even as early as Thursday afternoon. A very quick moving storm here, but rain chances still in the forecast as we are heading throughout Thursday. Once that front moves through, once Michael's out of here, cooler air sets in and looking at a beautiful forecast to finish off this work week here. As far as rainfall totals go, showing about half to three quarters of an inch, so we'll watch that very carefully. Not so much a flooding rain event. We could be getting some torrential rainfall at times, especially for areas to the south and to the east. Farther north and west you are, may not see even half an inch of rain, so we'll keep an eye on this. For today, much of the same, a lot of cloud cover, maybe an isolated shower into the afternoon and into the evening. Here's that dividing line between the very warm air and the cool air. It is on its way, so we'll track this out as well, along with Hurricane Michael. We're going to go weather aware for both Wednesday and your Thursday. A lot of changes on the way. We've got a hurricane entering the country and also after that feeling very fall like as we head into Friday, plenty of sunshine and 71 degrees. So just be aware that we have a major hurricane that will be impacting portions of the southeastern United States. OK, we'll certainly keep our eye on that. And then this afternoon, a chance of a shower, but overall a good day to get outside. Maybe take a walk on your lunch break. Yeah, much of the same today. Big changes heading into tomorrow and Thursday. Aaron, Thank you.